Welcome to the most advanced Go High Level course out there. I'm going to show you how you could start using Go High Level today and start making money for your agency. I'm going to cut out all the fluff, get right to it, and show you all the features you need to know to start leveraging and implementing into your own agency with Go High Level. Welcome to the Go High Level course. We're going to get straight into it and not waste any time. So this is what we're going to cover. First of all, why you should start using Go High Level today, how to make money using Go High Level, snapshots, pipelines, automation, reputation management, invoices, payments, everything you need to know for in Go High Level to start leveraging and using for your clients and your business. So to start off, what exactly is Go High Level? Go High Level is an all-in-one marketing solution and what's really cool about it and that I love, it's actually AI powered. So it has chat GPT integration. So it's a really powerful tool that you can leverage and use for your agency. It has features like CRM and pipeline management, sales funnels, websites, surveys, forms, email marketing, SMS, booking, appointments. It literally has everything, right? I've tried so many CRMs in the past. I've tried HubSpot. I've tried Fresh Sales. Go High Level just has every single feature you need to run your agency, to run your business, all in one at an affordable, I think a fair price for what it comes with. Reputation management, analytics, right? All of this, this is what the price looks like for Go High Level. You can do the starter package where it's 97 a month, but, the real, real beauty of it is when you get into the unlimited package because of this right here, unlimited sub accounts, as many, as many client accounts as you need for one price, right? That's the real beauty of go high level. And that's what makes it really powerful. You're able to pay a price of nine two ninety seven, and onboard clients and charge them a fee for the subscription. For example, I can have my agency and I can find clients and resell, white label it, right? So I put my own logo, resell it to other clients, to other businesses and charge them literally whatever I want, right? And I only pay this price, which is the real beauty of Go High Level, which makes it a really powerful software for agencies. Why master Go High Level today? Because if you don't have coding experience and you've always wanted to get into the SaaS business, you hear about SaaS a lot nowadays, right? Software as a service, it's a great way to make money. Here's the thing, with Go High Level, you're essentially leveraging their software and it allows you to resell it to other businesses. The key thing here is that you can't really sell Go High Level for example, let's just say you're to build out your own piece of software and it's a social media analytics software and you want to sell that company with that software. You can because it's your software with Go High Level. It's not your software. You're leveraging their software and reselling it to other businesses. So that's the, the key thing there. But it's a great way to get into SaaS, right? Selling the software to other businesses. And it's also a great way to make money using this model. And if you already have an agency or if you want to start one, this is a great, probably one of the best tools for your agency. And if you go out there and look up other SMMA gurus, they're all leveraging Go High Level. I guarantee you maybe 80% of them or more are leveraging Go High Level. All right. Why should you listen to me about Go High Level? I just started about a month ago and I've been able to scale my own agency to 11K in the first month with 3000 monthly recurring revenue, right? From reselling the software and onboarding our clients to a subscription for the software. I'll touch on this more during the presentation, but I'll literally show you what I'm doing how I'm offering the services and how you can structure and offer your own services. My background is in computer science. So I have a software engineering background, very technical. I've built my own software before. I've built software for my job at Microsoft and I really understand software. I love 
building software. So, so when I started using Go High Level, I immediately fell in love with the software because it allows you to customize it in so many ways. It allows you to build out automation, right? Instead of going to Zapier and trying to connect all these pieces of software together, you literally have one central place to run your business. All right. So my background is in computer science, but I also love business. So just technology and business, that's kind of that, that combination is where my love falls in. So this is um, a little bit about my background. And for me, I just want to provide as much value as possible to you. I believe in the law of reciprocity, right? I just want to provide as much value as possible as I can. And I hope that this video, this presentation inspires someone to start using Go High Level today to transform their life, to build their own agent. So that's my goal with this video. So I hope you find this valuable and I'm able to provide value to you. Okay, so how can you make money with Go High Level? First of all, you can charge a one-time setup fee. And after that, you can onboard your clients to a subscription model, right? You can charge them a fee every month for using the sub, just like how they would pay any other software. If they were to use HubSpot for their business, they would be paying HubSpot $200, $300 a month, whatever that is. So instead of paying HubSpot, they'll pay you so they can use the software under your account. You can also do things like custom automations, database reactivation, meaning they give you their clients and you do some marketing and email campaigns for them. You can run their ads with and use Go High Level to do all the tracking. Uh, you can also offer reputation management, helping them get more five-star Google reviews by setting up a Google review automation. You can also build them out a website using Go High Level's website templates. This is essentially my offer, right? I offer tailored automation. So I would work with these businesses, hear out their pain points and figure out what they wanted to automate. And then I would leverage Go High Level and build out all these automations, setting them up with their own pipeline to manage their business. Also do reputation management. So it's essentially putting their old clients and new clients on a Google review automation and helping them get more five-star reviews. And you could also get smart with this and set up some type of filtering automation so they only get five-star reviews from their clients. Websites, you could help build your clients' websites using Go High Level's website templates. And you can also set them up with a calendar booking page such as just like how Calendly would work, but this is all already integrated in Go High Level. I charge a 3K onboarding fee to set them up with these custom automations and on the software. And then I charge a $500 monthly subscription or retainer fee. Of course, this might change in the future, but this is what I started off with. And here's the thing, you just start with a model, just start off with a business model and then just evolve with it, adapt and figure out what works best, right? The, the thing I see that happens a lot is that people just wait too long to get started. And you just have to start and just learn from working with these clients. What, how do they react, right? And figure out what works. Of course, this is what I'm doing right now, but it's definitely probably most likely going to change in the future. And what I did for my first ever client, I basically did it for free. I went to, the, I went to my client and I said, hey, I want to set up custom automations for your business, set you up on this software that's gonna help you scale and grow. And all I wanna do is help you and provide value to you. From there, when we're working together, what she would do is she would repost all our meetings and, and all of the behind the scenes that was going on with me working with her. And that actually attracted new clients and that's how I ended up getting new clients. And there's also other ways that I ended up landing these clients, but. If you have no clients right now, one thing you could do is just offer your services for free because you're going to learn and you can also use them as a testimonial. So my first client, I did zero onboarding and then eventually I got them on a $500 a month retainer fee after they saw all the value I was providing. And achieving 10K a month is so possible, right? I was able to do this in my first month, make 11K in my first month, which is incredible. So 
I'm excited because if that was the first month. I wonder how month two is going to go, how month three is going to go. The more and more I learn about the industry, the more I upgrade my own skills and provide more value to my clients. So it's definitely possible. The resources and videos are out there. It's all free on YouTube. You can literally watch this video. You can watch other videos, but it's so possible. And I'm living for that, right? That anyone can do it. And here, I think this is the easiest way to land your first client. And it's by giving value up front. So literally step by step, go on Google, type a, let's just say niche. <laughs> go on Google and type in a niche, a niche, a niche. Go on Google and type in a niche, not a nice, and a city. Find businesses without a website or that have low Google reviews. Reach out to them via email and, or phone and just say something along the lines like, hey, their business name. I noticed that your Google business page doesn't have a website or, or has lower reviews compared to your competitors. I'd be happy to help you with this at no cost. That's the key there, at no cost, especially if you're just starting off or if you already have clients, it's also a great way to get new clients. And then use Go High Level to set up a Google review automation or, or set them up with a free website using Go High Level's website templates. And just repeat this for the same niche, give value up front. After you give value for free up front, they're most likely gonna ask you, hey, what else can you do for me, right? And that's how you could easily land your first client. This was my first client. She is a loan officer. So I started off in the loan officer niche. Her And with her 14 years of experience in the industry, we literally built out a really nice and pretty complex automation system for her loan officer business. This is actually the niche that I'm focusing more on because she was my first client and we're able to build out a really good system for her using go high level. Um, you can start off with any niche, right? It could be roofing. It could be anything, whatever it is, but this is a, I'm, I'm sure Alex isn't the first one who said this, right? But he says the riches are in the niche. What, what that means is when you're starting off, just focus on one niche because that's going to help you focus and just keep improving on that. Instead of trying to focus and learn this industry, learn roofing, learn solar, learn all of it, just focus on one, make that, really understand that industry, really understand that, that persona's pain points and just focus on that. And then later on, you can add more niches, right? More industries. But I think just focusing on one at the start is the way to go. And this is hands down the best resource that actually helped me land clients because at the start of my journey, the first few sales calls and sales pitches I was doing, the offer was not there. You really need a grand slam offer. You really got to paint the picture for your client because you can't just go to them and be like, hey, I have this software that does email marketing, that does automations, that does, they don't care about all of those features. For example, instead of selling them, this feature, this feature, this feature, just sell them the vision, right? Alex has a thing where he said, don't tell people how they're going to get to Maui, sell them Maui, sell them the vision. So that's this book. This book actually helped me a lot with coming up with a good offer, how to sell my services to my clients. And with that, we're starting off with snapshots. Chapter one is snapshots. And this is a really important feature for go snapshots essentially allows you to clone an account into other accounts. For example, if you set up a bunch of automations for the roofing industry, that account, you can set up one account. What I do is I call it, uh, you could call it roofing snapshot. You set up all of the automations on that roofing snapshot. And then from there, once you onboard new clients, you can clone all of those automations into your client's account from your snapshot. So that's the really, really powerful, that's a really, really powerful feature that Go High Level offers, which allows you to even push future updates onto your client's accounts using this snapshot feature. I kind of think about it as like I'm collecting Pokemon, for example, because 
Like I mentioned earlier, I started off with loan officers. So I have a loan officer snapshot that with that loan officer snapshot, I can then clone all of those automations, all of the features I built out on that snapshot and import them into my new clients that are in the same industry. So what's really cool, it's like you're collecting snapshot. It's like you're collecting Pokemon. I have this loan officer snapshot. Maybe later on, I'll collect a solar snapshot that I maybe then, and maybe after that, I'll collect a roofing snapshot, right? So it's all of these automations, all of these templates that I'm creating that I could then use later on. And just with the same idea of Pokemon, my loan, my, the loan officer snapshot started off as a baby Charmander. So it didn't have many automations. The systems weren't up to par to what they are now. It started off as a baby Charmander, but now it's a Charizard. Like the automations for my loan officer template are top notch, literally has everything you need if you're a new loan officer or even if you're an experienced loan officer. So that's the real beauty about this model is that you could build out these snapshots and keep, you can keep building out new features for these snapshots. And you can, whenever you have new clients, all you do is literally clone that snapshot into your new clients. Account. So right now we're in my agency dashboard. And like I said, here you can see my numbers. So, you know, I'm not lying. This is actually not accurate. My Stripe didn't pick up the other payments, but I'll literally show you my Stripe account so you can see. And now I'm going to go into my snapshots so you can see that. So Go High Level already comes with a bunch of snapshots that you could use. Attorney, Day Spa, Solar. So you can use these snapshots right out the box or you can create your own snapshot, right? So here I have a loan officer snapshot, realtor snapshot, podcast snapshot, garage door installation snapshot. And this is just like a, so when you select one of these, you can literally create a new account from this snapshot. And that's the real beauty of go high level. And it allows you to quickly add all of these automations to a new account. And whenever you make changes, you can, like I mentioned, you can push those new changes to all of the accounts that are using. So right now we are in, the life insurance snapshot, we're going to go into pipeline and start talking about. Okay. So this is the life insurance snapshot that I'm working on. And here is a pipeline for policies for life insurance. When you go to this pipeline page, you can create as many pipelines as, and for example, for this policies pipeline, I can edit it and I can add any new state. And I also have the option to show this in the funnel chart in the dashboard. So what's really cool is in this pipeline, I can set up automations. For example, if I move over this client to policy approved in the back end, they can automatically get a text and email letting them know that their policy got. Or if they're a new lead, I can set them up on a nurture sequence to nurture them, tell them about our services and eventually get them to buy a policy with us. So this is an example of pipelines and how you can create custom. So now, so the real, real beauty and power of pipelines is when you leverage it with automation and show you how this works. Let's just say this is a policy of workflow. And on here, I can different triggers. For example, if someone books an appointment, if, if a contacts tag changed, the ones I use are opportunity stage change, so form submitted when someone fills out a form, survey submitted, and customer booked appointment. Those are the ones that I the most usually. And pipeline stage change is probably the one I use like 80% of the time. So in the beginning, it's a little tricky using this pipeline stage change. So here is the workflow selected. You can name it. So what I'd like to do is pipeline stage, let's just say policy group. So I'll name it what I moved it to. So now it changed the name here. So one thing that was a little tricky when I first started using the years was, okay, I changed the name, I selected it, but I didn't 
I didn't realize that you had to add a filter to this, right? Here's, and then here, you're usually going to line pipeline policies. So you have to select the pipeline that you're working with. And then you add another filter. And this is where I, it was a little tricky in the beginning. You add another filter. And then now that you selected the pipeline, now this popped up, pipeline stage. So now pipeline stage, I could go in here and say, when it's in the page, now it gets triggered whenever it gets. So now I can go in and add an action. Like I mentioned earlier, it has chat GPT in so I could literally create, add a chat GPT prompt and you can get really advanced with this. It's pretty cool. I'll say this, the most common actions I use are send SMS, mail, if states. I think the, those are the ones I use the most usually, but of course I use a lot of these, but those are the ones I use the most. So let's just say this client's policy got approved. Now I can go in here, SMS, like hi, your policy, it's been great. This right here is a custom field. So this is going to get replaced with the contacts for, and then you have a bunch of custom values you can use such as phone, city, appointment dates, the message, account, everything. You have a lot, you can even set up custom values here aside from the standard ones that Go High Level comes with. For example, I created all of these custom values. I can add, I can save the link to my booking. So now if I do save action, you can also test this before you send it, which is really nice. And you can also add. And then now whenever someone gets moved over, my client's gonna get a text message saying that got approved. Another one that I actually use a lot is send internal notification. So this can send a text message to my team. This person's policy just got approved. I can do SMS, email, or an app notification. That's another one. Another thing you could do is you can wait a certain amount of time or you apply. Let's just say the client to this message. I want to wait. Did the contact reply? I'm going to give this condition a name and now I can have branches. So right here we can select contact type. We'll just leave it like that. We'll just say if positive, if they replied with a positive intent, say meaning that the message they replied back to us. You could, then you could do ad, more advanced things like this and use ChatGBT where we use the, my client policy just got a, um, a reply back with a 20, 20 word a kind 20, 30 text message. And then I can have T reply for me. So this is going to have the chat GPT here and I can have chat GPT reply for me to their reply, or if they did not reply at all, I can have something else happen in this other branch. So like I said, you can get very complex with the automations. And actually, this is my favorite part of Go High Level, setting up these customs automations because you could get really creative. So now we're going to be talking about reputation management. So what you want to do is you want to go to settings, integration, and you want to connect your Google business page to your account here. And once that's set up, then you can go to reputation on the left. And on here, you can see all of the invites you sent, all of your reviews, your average rating, your trends, all of that information. You can see a request that got sent out and reviews on here. So what I'm going to show you now is a 
Google review automation, you can set up for your clients and you can start, we send the client a message and we say, Hey, I just wanted to thank you for allowing me to provide you with the best loan mortgage services. This is the loan officer, me and my team on the services we provided. What do you give us? And this is a real beauty. If they reply four or five, then we tag them for the five star review. We wait five minutes so it doesn't look like a bot that just automatically replies. We say, that's great to hear. And then we add this action to send a review request to the client, meaning they're going to get a message that contains the link to the Google page for your client. And then this person will leave a Google review there. So one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to settings, reputation management, and on here, you can manage all the set for when a, you can manage the settings for when the Google request action gets sent right here is the SMS review request. What I like to do is add an image here. So it shows Google reviews, five star, and then it, it sends this message from that action. As a small business owner, five-star reviews help our business a ton. Would you take 30 seconds and leave us a quick review? If so, you can use the link here and it's going to have the link to their whole business page where they can leave a link. And then where if they're, if they don't click, so this is how you can, so this is how you can change the Google review request action. And to get this custom schedule here, you want to select the follow a custom schedule for review request, or you could just send through once and not do any follow-ups. Another thing to know is once you have your Google business page connected to the account, you can click generate link and save, and it's going to add the, if you need a stretch break, this is a great opportunity to get a little stretch break and then we can continue. So now we're going to talk about invoices, proposals, and estimates. So this is a newer feature on Go High Level. But if you go to payments here, you can connect your Stripe account and an estimates on here. So if you go on here and you have this place where you can create an estimate for your clients, for example, and the way you do this is you create a new estimate and you can add text, image, product list, signature. So this is a real a real powerful feature. You can actually get your client's signatures on. You can add some text here. Right, proposal for Bob, right? It will automatically add their name. And you have a product list on here. For example, you can add, you can have your products on here. You can add it, you can add price, and then you can and if you go to the integrations tab, this is where you can connect your PayPal or where you connect your Stripe to manage all of your payments through Go High Level. Okay, calendars. You can set up a calendar on here. And I'm going to show you how that's done. So what you do is you go to create calendar. You can set up simple calendar, round robin. If you have a team, class booking, collective booking. Self. So, Booking available, preview calendar. Now I have my calendar and it looks pretty similar to Calendly. So you can go on a time with you and then you can also have a custom form on here. This is the default form for the calendar, first name, last name, phone, email, but you could also ask additional questions for your calendar. So this is, this is our free discovery call calendar. And let's just say someone picks this time. It'll ask full name, email, phone, who are your clients? Explain your business in one to three sentences. What products or services do you sell? What's your current revenue? Because this helps, this helps us understand if this potential prospect can actually afford the onboarding fee in our services. And I also like to ask this, if they currently have a CRM they love, because if they don't, then it's a lot easier to sell Go High Level to them. And I have a form here, this is a different form instead of the default one. You can also redirect them to a different page after they book. 
for example, for example, after they book with you, you can send them to a informational video VSL style pick into your meeting, right? Or you can just send them a thank you. You can also send an acknowledgement email, have a cover image for your calendar. Okay, so now we are going to talk about forms and surveys. So we are in snapshot and I'm going to show you a survey that I built to get, to get a client's borrower. So we're going to click on borrower authorization form. And this is what that looks like. So the real beauty of go high levels forms and their system, it allows you to get signatures. So this is a borrower's authorization form. So what the client did is they gave me a PDF, of what that looks like and what they have their clients do before they were doing this through DocuSign. Now they could do this all through go high level so they could cut DocuSign out and start using go high level. So on here, you see what that looks like. And if we preview it, it looks like this, you, they could get, their client signature and they could and they can get that PDF on their account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the you can use for surveys. And this is pretty similar to forms. Honestly, probably been done on if we go to options here. Okay, so you have a disqualified message. And let's just create a new custom field. Let's do a your forms. This test. Yes. I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna add this test here. And then what I could do now that I have this custom field on the form, if they select yes, qualify them, or I can make it go to a different slide. Right. So this is the difference between surveys and forms. Survey is a thing. Form, you can't really do this, but we can. So that's the biggest difference. Similar in the way you build them out. Some of the quick, you can add text and add some styling to this text. You can make, you got some styling to this text. You got custom fields. And this is how you can easily build out forms and surveys for in go high level forms right so this is what i mean about go high level being an all-in-one solution it has forms which replace forms or type form it has a calendar booking page which replaces calendly it has signatures which replaces something like docusign so this is what makes it has so many features integrated straight into the software so now i want to talk about courses so this is something like school or something like circle.so. So courses is something. So if I go to pro, if I go to memberships and I go to products, here I have courses that I can offer. And what's really cool about this, you can use this as a way to train your clients on the system. For example, I have this loan officer accelerator course. And what I'm doing is I'm creating training videos for my loan officers. So if they ever have a question to loan officers, they could just watch the training and it, everything's in there, right? So let me show you what that looks like. If I cheek, it looks like this. You can add your lessons in here, your modules. Here's all, you can customize your course. Your course, so here's the title, description, your image. And you could also have communities along with your course. If you look at school, that's another platform courses on, but that comes out to a hundred a month. So this already is included with a membership. If you go to offers, you can create a new offer. I'm going to do and select a product Do AI cheat codes type is free. And then payment mode. I'm just going to do test. So now this is my offer that I can send to, so it looks something like this, right? But you can make it prettier. So a price, and then they just put email, full name, submit, redirect it to pay if it's not free. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Looks like this. 
looks like this where you have everything all in one, right? You can manage your conversations here. You can look at your reputation here from Google. You can look at your calendar, your contacts, and then here's your homepage. So it's a super user friendly app. So it's basically like taking your CRM or taking your business on the go. So you can manage it all through your phone as well, which is a really nice feature. And as it for agencies, you can even white label the app. So look, it has your own branding, it has your own logo. Of course, it's an additional fee that you can also do if you want to make software and, and it's all consistent with your company's branding. Okay, so this is the reporting page and on here you can view your Facebook ads, you can view your Google ads, and it's super convenient. If you're running ads for your client, they could go on here or you could go on here and you can easily view all the analytics for your client's ads, which is really nice. You also have call reporting where you can view all the calls from your platform that are being, that are being used from Go High Level agent reporting so you can see a leaderboard of, of your agents which I usually I'm not which I'm not using right now and you also have appointment reporting so you can see all of the appointments that got booked how many people showed how many no showed and view all of that so you have a place to view all of the and now that we're on this topic of analytics I kind of glanced over the dashboard page which is a really really cool feature for go high level where you could see how many people are in your pipeline. If there's people in the pipeline, you'll be able to see a funnel here, a pie chart here with, with the distribution of people in different stages and your conversion rate. You also have a lead source, all the, so you can see where your people, and you can also see the win rate for all of those. So they will all show up here. Okay, so let's talk about websites. Like I talked, like I mentioned earlier, you can show clients that don't have a website, a new one, and what's really cool about Go High Level, it has plumbing solutions, plumbing service. So let's go on here, continue. Adding the template, loading the images, arranging the layout. So this is something you can offer for free, right? Use one of these templates, find someone on Google that doesn't already have a website. So what you could do here, you can just add the logo of your client, whoever you're working with, add a little, add a subtitle here, just chat, just, just use chat GPT to help you build out the wording. So you can learn the client for free. And it looks pretty, pretty professional. And blitz that you can use and you can leverage. <laughs> so this, so this website builder, you can customize it if you don't want. If you don't want that to be blue, you change the italic color and we can change what you want. You can add elements here. So if you do add element, you can add headlines, forms on here. And below here, I can select a form and I can embed a form onto this page. So we go back to elements. I can also add a video, a calendar, booking page, count. You have an offer where you, and you add this countdown to add some urgency. That is websites. You can get really advanced with this art. The about Go High Level it has so many templates you could use out of the box for you. It already looks professional. You just have to change the wording and you're good to go. Another really cool feature about Go High Level is a thing called funnels. Right, if you've heard of click funnels, that's it's pretty similar, right? So you can have a sell style page here where if someone lands on that page, it's a video of you talking about your offer, and then it redirects them to something like a booking page, right? This is another cool feature you could use to build out funnels for your clients or to, or to build out funnels for your own business. Whew, so we're almost <laughs> getting to the end of this. Go high level mastery training. I know it's been a lot. I'm like in this room for about 24 hours with no sleep, no food, no water. I'm just kidding. But I hope that you're learning a lot and learning and thinking about, okay, what are the type of services I can offer to people? How can I use this for my own business? How can I start using some of these features? So we're going to talk about some of the last features 
for Go High Level. I know it's been super in depth. We literally covered all of the best Go High Level features available, but you can always go into more advanced and more complex in each of these single features, right? I have an onboarding contract, which I could touch on where when I have a new client, it automatically sends them a contract where they sign it. After they sign it, it takes them to a calendar booking page. So you can get really complex and really creative with the type of automations with Go High Level. So this page here is the marketing page. And on here, you can connect your social media accounts and you can post directly from Go. So, so on here in marketing, you can go to campaigns and this is where you can create email campaigns for your batch. And this can replace something like ConvertKit or something like Beehive. So some of the last few pages here, conversations, right? This is where you can view and manage all of your conversations. You can send SMS messages directly on Go High Level or you can send emails. And, it, and what really is that you can have templates. So if I go here, I have all these templates I could use where it'll automatically pre-fill what I, what I want to send. So if you're continuously sending the same message over and over again, you can have it directly from here. And you can also use custom values directly on here. Another thing that's really cool is that it's a unified inbox. So if you connect your Facebook or Instagram, you'll have all of those messages directly on here. So it's a central place to manage all of that. And then if you, if you integrate your Google business page, you'll also see all of that on here. You can call directly from the software. You go here, you can call directly from this software, call your contacts, and message them and follow up with them from this software, which is really, really cool. And the last page is contacts. So you have your contacts on here. You can add contacts, you can import contacts, you can send them a review request on here. You can add tags, 